everybody, welcome back to my very cobwebby shed. We are having a gardening day today. Oh boy, is it needed. We've tried to do this for the last few days, but it keeps raining. It might rain on us again today. I really hope not. I really want to get the grass cut. The grass is so long on purpose. We, um, I'm going to just go get Rory. You can hear him shouting me. Say hello. We left it long on purpose because we had like no rain for weeks and the grass was looking so sad. It got really brown, it got some really dry patches so we decided to let the grass go to seed and then hopefully it would self seed and you know do better so yeah but then we went on holiday <laughs> and we never got a chance to cut it before we went because of the rain so here we are many many weeks later. There are lots of jobs to do and I know you guys love a garden video and I love filming them because I just love being outside. Um, so we're going to see how much we can get done. I can do a lot less these days, I get tired much quicker of being pregnant but I've got my handy helper Dom so we're going to be a team, we're going to do as much as we can do and hopefully there's going to be a really nice transformation for you all. I'll make sure I put in like all the footage before so you can see what we're dealing with and then yeah, I'll bring you along and we will see how it all goes, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. So nice to be back to YouTube after a little bit of a break and I'm looking forward to today. Feeling good. So this is what we're starting with, quite the jungle. Everything was very overgrown and very happy from all the rain that we've had. There were lots and lots of roses, which is so nice, but some of them did need deadheading. And I'm showing here the grass, which was incredibly long and just looks so healthy and luscious, which is nice to see. I'm just showing you all the madness that is our garden. There is basically no separation between anything anymore and you can't even see where the grass ends and the borders start. There's weeds popping up everywhere, over oh, cheek, and it just needs a really, really good scene too. And it just needs a bit of attention, I think. The trellis fell off in the high winds we've had. <laughs> this is another rose that needs some attention. And yeah, it's a bit of a project, but we'll get there. And I'm just pointing at the trees that desperately need a trim. They need a bit of a haircut. They've got a bit wild and out of control. We're just having a morning coffee, waiting for the breakfast to cook, and then we're gonna crack on, but we're just having a bit of a discussion of what to do first. Oh, as, you, <laughs> as you can see, this is overgrowing into next door. I think the first job I'm gonna do is sort the clematis out. Um, and these trees that you can hardly see because of where I'm sat as well. But you can't do a day of gardening without starting with a coffee and a good breakfast, so let's do that first. Before we get started, I want to show you all my prides of joy. Look at these sunflowers. They have grown so much, I can't wait for them to flower. And then also, these little guys, these little guys, these little guys. There's lots of deadheading to be done. This guy just keeps growing and growing and growing. And then this one came out to play. Look, oh, I love them so much. And there are a few more coming now. So this one here looks a bit sad. Um, we've been having issues getting the stakes in the ground. <laughs> so I'm gonna give it another go today. Now it's wet out here. Um, the daisies are all popping up. I've got this little sunflower. But he did well to survive. He got eaten by a slug at some point. Um, and this one I think is a red one, which is so good because I really struggled to get the red ones to thrive this year. There's a few more in this jungle over here. And then, down here, I've got some more. I planted this one for my niece, so I'm gonna give her that one. I think that's actually done the best out of all of them, which is beautiful. And then just these two as well. I ran out of space to plant the sunflowers I grew, so just kind of chucked them anywhere. But they all need stakes so that they do well. But yeah, really, really pleased. Can't wait to sort this jungle out as well. <laughs> Best gloves ever. Can't even see the label on them anymore. Kinko's. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> that was all.
hoping you can hear me over the wind. It's really funny, I was doing that then, reaching up, and I could feel little man kicking, so it's like there's three of us gardening today, not just two. <laughs> it's very involved. Plus the cats. Plus the cats, of course. Of course, they live out here. I can feel him like rolling around inside, which is just the strangest feeling. Ooh. <laughs> So we got these off Amazon, um, like because we've had these ones before, but you can see the thickness difference and these ones, eh, they're alright but in comparison it's just terrible. You try and, <laughs> I think I bent that one trying yeah, to the ground. You try and push it in and all that, <laughs> like, so it's good if you're going into like soft ground in a flower bed or something like that or trying to tidy up something quite small, <laughs> the rake wants to get involved, but uh, yeah, they're, they're no match for the big ones. to hand trim it because I think it was getting too long for the lawnmower for when I mow later on so I just wanted to and it'll hopefully dry out a little bit because the grass is still a bit wet from yesterday but I also did read a thing um, a couple of weeks ago about no mow may and how good it is and it, you know lets the insects get established and all that kind of jazz but what I did also read in that article was that loads of hedgehogs have been injured because people have got the grass really long the hedgehogs have like hibernated or whatever they do and then you come along with your trimmer or your lawnmower or whatever and there's a little hedgehog asleep and then obviously it gets pretty badly injured so quite sinister with those things <laughs> <laughs> so i guess there's a bit of a double whammy really it needs trimming down anyway for the lawnmower yeah i don't think there's any hedgehogs doing anything this time of year but there's one if you do no mow may you yeah, should definitely. go around with either <laughs> some <laughs> hand clippers first or just do a walk around and make sure there's no hedgehogs asleep it already looks better doesn't it just for having mm. that trim got a bit wild getting there now so we actually, I planted this last year and it's a gorgeous honeysuckle, but look at the colours. So it's currently growing into the rose bush. I did, one minute, let me zoom out. I did go to town on this recently because it was, all the roses kept, you know, dying like they do and it was just making all this confetti on the floor and it was quite messy. So yeah, I trimmed it right back. So today I'm just gonna go through and deadhead any roses that need deadheading, as you can see down here. This needs a bit of attention and this needs like, um, standing back up again. I'm not sure if this is actually a climbing rose and so it needs a support. I'm not really sure, but we can see if we can get one. But thankfully these have come back to life, which is so nice and they're so beautiful. These ones smell so delicious.
absolute chaos out here but we're getting somewhere we're just trying to sort out the pear tree at the minute um it's quite lopsided and if it stood up straight it would be a lot better so it's just a bit of a task isn't it trying to figure out how but it's getting there A storm brewing you can hear the thunder I think we've timed that so so well it feels really calm now there he goes my second hand man <laughs> ah feels good out here now done it looks so much tidier just getting the royal seal of approval from Rory himself it's already gone inside the bush <laughs> um we could do with raking it but to be honest we're both run out of life now we've achieved what we wanted to and I <laughs> oh, I know I'll take that I think we've timed it really well because there is definitely a storm coming <laughs> um but yeah no it looks so much better we do need to I've got like a pointy stick now <laughs> We need to sort out the pear tree situation. I know this is going to be really annoying with the cats and their leads. Um, <laughs> but everything's doing really, really well and it just looks so much better. We've trimmed a lot off the trees, which just looks so much nicer, so much tidier. And now all the grass is cut as well. Um, the hydrangea is doing well finally it's taken so long to get to this point branch drooping into it. i know so we should probably have cut these little guys off but we didn't i do need to give the strawberries some attention and these sweet peas at some point but i think to be honest we've done a great achievement today and you can't do it all in a day you know so i'm gonna head inside 
and put those flowers into some vases and I will see you guys in there and yeah I'm looking forward to a nice afternoon of editing Dom's having a nap apparently <laughs> I'm just gonna put my feet up they definitely need to go up they are aching um yeah and just have a nice afternoon of editing so it's been a really good day it's only like 12 o'clock we usually start gardening at like one o'clock and we're still at it at like 6 p.m so we came out this morning at like it's like half eight i think and just got cracking and so it feels really good you know that we've still got so much day ahead of us and it's done and we got it done before the storm yes <laughs> rather bedraggled I am in desperate need of a good shower I've got so much muck under my nails I don't understand how that happens when you wear garden gloves oh well I really hope you've enjoyed this I hope it's inspired you if your garden looks as much of a jungle as ours did the garden looks huge now I think we both said like when the trees come and they join in the middle it makes the garden feel tiny so it's just nice to have differentiation again and it just feels so good and so nice to just spend some time outside especially in these weird times where it's sunny some days, some days it's raining, you don't really know whether you're coming or going and it's so easy to just stay inside on those days so I'm really happy that we've made the most of it, we got out there and we've had a really lovely morning. That is it for me today, really hope you enjoyed this video and I will leave more gardening videos down below, I've got lots on this channel, thank you so so much for being here, have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and I'll catch you all again in my next video, bye!